When you come to this department, you're not just surrounded by people who are here getting a degree or are here just doing their nine to five. You're surrounded by people who are really passionate about what they're doing, who really mm -hmm. care about what comes out of this department. I, I just have incredible things to say about the ISE department here. And I know that I'm in it, but so this probably doesn't mean as much, but I think it's the best curriculum on campus. I would say that there are not many engineering programs where you can have such a breadth of expertise. ISE works very closely with the economics. So we are not only interested in the design and production of exciting products and services, but they also have to be economically viable in the market. The other thing is ISC looks at the holistic view. You know, we are a discipline that let, not only looks at the parts, so a mechanical system will look at the mechanical part, electrical systems will look at the electrical parts, but we look at, at the system as a whole, we cover the holistic optimization of the system rather than its piece parts. You learn how to learn. I think that was the key thing. There's a lot of big problems that we're trying to solve that really aren't going to be solved in one day. They're going to be solved by building processes that are going to make things better day after day after day. And that's what we really talked about it in ISE. It's a systems perspective rather than a, a certain technology domain or device perspective. So it really is thinking about engineering type problems and how they fit into you know, the larger context of the world. The quality of the program and the quality of the students coming out of the program is very impressive to me. I've had the fortunate opportunity to hire many uh, IE and general engineers um, out of the program in the last 10 years and the individuals that we hired are just so impressive and taking on great leadership positions um, in the company. Whirlpool offered me a coveted position in the leadership development program. And it wasn't based on the fact that I could sit at my desk and do CAD. Whirlpool hired me for my leadership capabilities, and that alone was based on the ability to look at it from a broad approach. And I could point to specific classes I've taken here in the ISE curriculum that gave me this opportunity that I never would have had the chance to take elsewhere. You meet a lot of people, you'll learn a lot from a different faculty, um, not just your studies, but other people. More than likely, in a very short time, you can find a professor who's really interested in having you come and work in the lab. It's more of a family than it is a big institution. The nice thing about the ISE programs um, is that, you know, you, if you came into the ISE department, you start off with the same fundamentals that all the engineering programs take. But as you proceed through the curriculum, um, you get to really control the direction in which you specialize your studies and choose a series of courses that really directs you and pursue that specialization. Um, you know, as you get to your last couple of years of study and have a chance to think about where you want to go. What, what distinguishes like ISE from other engineering departments is the flexibility of the courses students can and choose from. In particular, students get exposed like, to both engineering courses and the business courses. I was looking for an entrepreneurship career because from my research we actually found that there is no wearable technology for wheelchair users and uh, it might be useful to do that. And the department actually encouraged me to go outside the department and collaborate with other faculty on campus. So I went and found a collaborator in uh, the uh, kinesiology department and they are happy to help you do the paperwork to kind of bring it into your curriculum and work with you on that. One of the best classes is the senior design project and it was a culmination of the individual disciplines that one studies throughout the four years of education. We were approached by this company called Home Products International. So these guys actually make 90 percent of America's ironing boards out of this one plant outside of Indianapolis. They had two factories running side by side and they said we just want one big factory. Tell us how to do it. We actually were able to apply a lot of the things we learned in school from the design side, from the economics and finance side. We were able to come up with a solution that actually saved them a lot of money and they're actually going to be implementing it next year. It's a chance to kind of bring together everything I've learned here. The facilities we have for the Senior Design Project are incredible. We have a shop and we have 3D printers available to us and we have an entire computer lab but full of all the software we could ever need. I get to kind of take a step back and look at everything I've learned and really get one more chance to figure out how to articulate that in the best way possible when I get into industry. I couldn't think of a better way to be prepared. I ascribe a lot of my success to ISC. Mm -hmm. And so the ability to 
um, learn and understand different aspects of engineering without having been exposed to it really taught you some great problem solving mm -hmm. skills. When it comes down to it, the ISU department gave me the chance to get a degree in problem solving. And there's nowhere you can't go with that.